This these was a bitch to get in. I'm not gonna lie. You're not entertained. Are you not entertained? What up, YouTube? Hey man, check this out. So I'm out here working on Cloud 64 right now. I got my kick panels back. I'm about to throw the sound system in. So, I'm going so this is what we're gonna go with for the kick panels. The six and a half. We're gonna go four six by nines in the back. This Pioneer, nothing crazy. I ain't no big audio sound guy. Amp, 1200 watt amp to run everything. I got the install bay nine wire to run from the amp to the radio. We're using the SCAR cables. Also a SCAR audio amplifier kit. Everything I use in this video, I'm gonna link down in the description. So nothing crazy, no crazy sound system, no subs and nothing like that. Of course, it's gonna be hydraulics and all that in the trunk. And I'm not a big, you know, sub guy anyway. So this will be running. Uh, I'm, hey, I'm gonna take y'all along for the ride. Let's roll. But the problem is, it's kick panels. I still gotta go out to the painter, get mural works. So I'm gonna do a little cut. I gotta open this hole up just a little bit more. It's set for a six and a half, but the base of the six and a half is just a little bit wider than this. So I'm gonna have to open this up. Six right in there like it should. See, better angle. Duplicate this on the other one. We'll be good to go. When I wire everything up, when I cut the six by nines in the back, I'll bring y'all along, you know what I'm saying? All right, this one cut. It's the driver's side. As you can see now it's sitting flush in there like it should. Had to trim it down. I definitely think they had it set for about a five and a half. I think I might have trimmed off, trimmed off a nice amount, but it's still fitting there good, as you can see. So we're good to go on that. A little trim, a little fix. All right, so whenever you get like six and a half or six by nines, you'll see like this little trim line be on the box. That's so you can cut this out if you need to place them somewhere, like I'm gonna do like on the back window sill. You can line it up and know where your hole is going to be. This will be where the inside of it goes. Just like, let me get real close. You can see the ring on it. That's where a screw would go. So to help you line it up if you need to cut anything out, which I'll be doing. So you always want to use this ring to get you a good measurement of. That way you can space everything out where you want it, stuff like that. So I'm about to peel these out, start placing where I want them. And we'll go from there. So this will be the little ring you'll be cutting out. You can see it up in there. Just cut it out. Because it help you. If you're cutting somewhere, you know what I'm saying? You're cutting the inside. Speakers drop down in there. It'll help you trim it out or make your marks or you make your space them out if you're using multiple speakers. So you cut this off the box. Cut that one off already. I'm going to cut this one off since I'm going to be doing four. I'm going to space them out real good. And so I'm just kind of getting a view of where I'm going to throw the four at. So what I'll do first is I'll probably make this hole. Then even those up. They come over here, take this. Loop it over. Loop those. Everything is pretty much, all these slits on the interior is marked up right down the middle. So I'm going to use that middle line to go this way, that middle line to go that way. To see where I'm going to position them at. And since I got to use a jigsaw, I might have to get in this trunk and get underneath and cut, get this tire out the way, get this tire in there, climb out, climb in there, cut it from the bottom or the top. I probably can cut some of it at the top, some of it at the bottom because of the window being in the way right there. If you had the windows out, it would be easy, but gotta do what we gotta do. Let's get to cutting. So I got this back window down. I'll probably try to set a stand right here. Give y'all about that kind of an angle. Turn the light on or something. See if I can get y'all in here where y'all can see what's going on. I gotta pop the back seat out. I might be able to pull the material up. We'll see. 
So as you can see, I went on and popped out the back deck of the upholstery part. Popped the seat up, popped it out. It just pops out. It just slides in there. So I'm about to mark. I'm about to wipe this dust and dirt all down. Then make the marks, cut it. It just makes it easier. And then when I put the upholstery back in, I'll be able to trace it from underneath, take a razor blade, cut it out. We'll be in there. Bring you in a little bit closer where you can see holes are cut, circles are made. This is like factory, I don't know, they must have been tore out years ago, who knows when, but. Holes drilled, now I'm about to drill a hole somewhere within this big circle, take the jigsaw and cut them out. Like I said, the other, I'll have to get in the trunk to get this side cut because of the window, but. Get a cup. So as you can see, one is cut in the holes. So I had to cut half of it on top, get in the trunk, cut the other half out. So now I just gotta do the other three holes, put the upholstery back in, then you will cut the upholstery out. You'll trim it from underneath, go back in, cut it out, but I'll go through that. All right, we got all our holes drilled. So this is the back dash insert, so you have to cut the holes out to match, and then that's it. All right, so we got the back seal cut, got the holes all cut in the padding, Put it back in. So now I just insert the speakers. And I'll be wiring them in parallel. So these two will can be, be considered the back driver. These two will be considered the back passenger. I'm gonna wire them in parallel, which will make these two speakers basically be one speaker on each side. And I got my drill with my little corner piece, you know, because of the window. So if you don't got one of these, you're gonna have to like hand screw them or use a real short screwdriver to get into the holes. I got this little thing I put on my drill. 